This is George McNulty from Leaksville Church of Christ in Mississippi. And many of you have been asking me questions, and one of them is, where are you from? Well, I'm from Dublin in Ireland, somewhere slightly west of Russia and slightly east of the United States and practically in the North Pole. Now, I've, I've been asked to, to read a, a song. It was actually an old poem from about the 8th century, an old Irish poem called Be Thou My Vision, which is also a beautiful hymn. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Naught be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Walking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great father, and I thy true son. Thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. Be thou my battle shields, sword for my fight. Be thou my dignity, thou my delight. Thou my soul's shelter, thou my high tower. Raise thou me heavenward, O power of my power. Riches I need not, nor man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and thou on, only first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure thou art. High King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever be fall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. That's a very old song, a very old poem from the 8th century. If you don't know it, and I encourage you to look it up, learn it. It's a beautiful song. We learn so much from the songs which we listen to. I remember being told of a little girl sitting in a hospital room, waiting for her relatives to come and pick her up. She'd been with her parents after they'd been in a car wreck, and both of them sadly were lost. And this poor girl obviously was distraught, and she needed hope. She needed to turn somewhere. And she'd been taught a song in Sunday school. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Hans Jung, the philosopher and theologian, was once asked, sum up the message of Christianity. Sum up the message of the Bible in a quick soundbite. And he said, he said, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Make no mistake, these songs are listened to. These words are words of power and strength and comfort. It's worth our while to teach them to our children, along with the scripture. It helps them remember biblical concepts and stays true to them in the darkest hour of their need. And indeed it will stay true and true to them for their entire lives. This is George McNulty from Leakswell Church of Christ, inviting you wherever you may be to obey the gospel, obey the command of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Mark 16, 16, he said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. The Lord has provided a way for all of us. People today are looking for equality. Equality is found in the word of God. It doesn't matter how rich you are or how poor you are. The color of your skin Whatever you identify as, all are equal, all are sinners in the sight of God. And the word of God is a mighty sword, which must be applied to sin, to convict the hearts of men and women, so that they know that they need to repent of their sins. You see, hell is a very real place. But thanks be to God, so is heaven. 
And the only way to enter therein is by the Lord Jesus Christ. In John 16 verse 4 he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is an exclusive claim by the Lord Jesus Christ, by the very Son of God. If you believe him, then it would be no burden to obey him. If your heart is open and soft to receive the seed of the word of God, then let it be planted deep. We live in a world that is spiritually waste. This wasteland wherever we may look. Places that used to be bastions of knowledge, such as universities, have become wastelands of propaganda for mindless philosophies that come and go like the wind and like storms. But the word of God stays true and stays eternal. The promises of God are sure they're steadfast. And God loves you. He doesn't want you to perish in hell. But he is just. And the terms of entrance into heaven are the same for all. Red, yellow, black or white. Rich or poor. Will you decide to obey the word of the Lord Jesus Christ this day? Will you be baptized for the remission of your sins? To have them blotted out by the blood of the Lamb? I do hope you choose that. And I do hope you remember nothing else from this talk. Please, please, don't be caught dead without Jesus. He loves us. The Bible tells us so. He reigns in heaven. Will you allow him to reign in your heart, in your mind, in your lives? Please begin. Please do so, starting today. God bless you. And thank you for listening. This is George McNulty from the Church of Christ at Leakswell. And of course, you are always welcome to drop in.